You said initially it was going to play DeAndre tonight. It's not like this was sort of a scripted rotation thing. Is he communicating with you just sort of about uh, about what you're feeling physically throughout the game? And at one point, was it clear that you were going to go the entire second half? Um, uh, he was asking me if I was like, feeling okay. I feel fine. I can play another 48. I'm not tired. We'll let everybody else be tired. How comfortable are you playing the backup center with that second unit? I know it was a playoff rotation, but having that be in this game, kind of treating this game like a playoff game. Uh, it takes a little second to get like back reacclimated to it, you know, like back used to it. Um, but if I know that's what we're doing, it's a little bit easier to adjust. But um, I like it. You know, it's fine. Just pick and roll. We um, get to switch one through five. We get rebounds. We get runs. We're really fast in that unit. So it's fine. Um, I think that's something that we go to a little bit more uh, as we get closer to the playoffs as well, like you were saying. Yeah, I mean, I look to play make a little bit more, uh, as opposed to like you know playing off of yoke. Um, yeah. What did you expect to guard Chris Stapps going into this one? Was that an in-game adjustment? Or did that kind of go into the game as a plan? I didn't really guard Chris Stapps that much. Who I guard? I guard like JB a little bit. Uh, Switched on Chris Stapps a little, but it was mostly JB. Uh, Mike was guarding Chris Stapps for the most part. And in terms of the smaller lineup, how do you feel like that slowed Boston down a little bit, especially after they started Hart from 30? Um, like our, our smaller lineup or their smaller lineup? I mean, you get to switch everything. You know, So when you switch everything, it kind of takes for It like bogs things down. So you have to play one on one, or you have to like slip, but everything is going towards the basket. Just some big picture problems you have. You know, there's only so many of these kind of games during the regular season. You know, when you know or when you have an inkling that, you know, this is going to be one of those games, how do you guys approach it kind of mentally a little bit? Yeah, we approach it like any other game. Um, we come in here looking to play our best bat, best brand of basketball and get a win. Uh, we know we, that's, that's really it. We don't approach, approach it any differently. For KCP to mirror Tatum's minutes, how much harder is it for him to sort of slow him down when there's a stretch early in the game where Tatum sort of gets cooking? Obviously, like, it's such a rhythm game. You see Jamal get hot, and he ends up with 35. Like, how much harder is it for KCP to end up keeping Tatum's numbers pretty inefficient after a little stretch like that? I mean, KCP is a, a first-team All-NBA defender. Um, so he, he's, he knows how to use his hands, how to use his feet, how to read the defense. Um, he's a veteran, a veteran player, so he's very solid and he, he sacrifices a lot. Um, and honestly, he's the anchor of our defense. What do you think of the last play? You guys kind of held him for 13 seconds there. They call a timeout. Were you guys going to give a foul there or were you going to play it out? Uh, yeah, we were going we to foul one more time. And then regrouping out of the time there, how do you feel like that went? Um, I think it went fine. Uh, I think if they caught it. Uh, out at the three-point line, they foul one more time so they don't get a three. Um, but since it was inside the three-point line, just played it out. If they make it two, then we go to overtime. What case do you think Jamal Murray made that he's an all-star tonight? I mean, uh, I think he's a great kid. He's a great step in the right direction. I believe he's an all-star. So um, I think he's going to continue to play it out um, and at that level. And, uh, you know, I hope they do the right thing. I hope they do the right thing. I saw, like, uh, I saw like something, a stat where it was like, it's the first time in a long time, like the team has won a championship with just only one all-star or something like that. And no defensive selections. And I think that should change. You know, I think we should have uh, multiple all-stars and multiple defensive selections. So I don't know if that's gonna change, but Jamal Murray definitely deserves to win. Say about Joker that he was able to put up that kind of performance while he's going through a tough time personally. It's greatness, man. It's greatness. Uh, I mean, Coach Malone was talking about it. That's how you honor somebody. Uh, and it's not easy. Uh, you know, we deal with so much on, on the court, but we deal with a lot off the court, too. And I know he's going through a hard time. I just want him to know that he's appreciated uh, for going through it. And that, you know, we got him in the tough times. And he's just, he's great. Man. He's great.